All right, we have Mr. and Mrs. J. Jackson here. Uh, they're victims of price gouging. So what we have here is one company came and told them they needed a new anode rod in their water heater, and they charged them almost $800 to, to add a new anode rod, which is the price of a water heater. So we ended up reaching out to them because we have videos and proof that they did not put an anode rod in. So we reached out to them. Uh, after a little huss and fuss, they ended up getting reimbursed, which was fabulous. Um, so we, we love that. Uh, this other company, that's why we're not going to mention their name. But this other company here, uh, we have ASAP Heating and Air Conditioner. Or no, ASAP Heating and Cooling. So, Ms. Jackson, just go ahead and give us a little rundown of exactly what happened here. Well, I called them because I thought they would be, you know, easy to operate. And what happened is they just kept, they went through the attic and found problems. Actually, I had just called them to hold it. So, Ms. Jackson, they went ahead and came over here and explained to you that you need a, a ultraviolet filtration for your uh, air conditioning. Is that correct? Right. And they went ahead and put it in, which we, we, we agree that we know that air purification is important. However, what they did is they charged you the first time $2,500. Yeah. Uh, $2,500, and basically uh, we ended up calling them, and uh, even they told us over the phone that they charged $1,600 for that. So the first job here... 213 $2,100. That was uh, the second time around. First time around, all these different invoices from between 2018 and 19. How many different problems can you have with your air conditioner? Uh, there he is. $2,600. $2,600 for a dual bulb system. That was 1022.18. Okay. So we have other invoices here as well saying that she has problems. So that's one, two, well, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different invoices for a year of trying to upsell her. This job right here, she said basically uh, they needed new ductwork. Uh, had another company over here, their ductwork is fine. There's not a problem with it whatsoever. So what do you think about that, Mrs. Uh, Jackson? I wish I'd never called them. Never called them. Okay. <laughs> I should have learned the first time they charged over $2,000. Well, we have a review online uh, for uh, for ASAP Heating and Cooling, and their reviews aren't good. So oh, those of you watching uh, know that you should go online and look at your reviews on the company that you're using. So this company right here charged $2,600. $2,600 for an air purifier system, and any normal company is only going to charge $1,600, which is normal. So that was 1022.18. So basically, after this one, less than a year after that, they have a lifetime warranty when you spend that kind of money. So they only should have changed the bulbs. They charge her another $2,400 less than a year later. There's 24. <laughs> so this company, so yeah, as you can see, the first one was 1022.18 for $2,600 for a filtration system with two year preventative maintenance. This one here is 2319. Charger another $2,100 which should have been under warranty. And it's still not working. So basically what we're trying to do is we've made several contacts to ASAP Heating and Cooling, which they have changed their name two, twice already. So we made several contacts out to them and they are not returning any of our phone calls. Um, anything you'd like to say uh, to ASAP Heating and Cooling, Ms. Jackson? Yes, before you do anything, get a price. Because if it's high, then don't go with them. Right. Well, ASAP Heating and Cooling, obviously, they're taking advantage of people, and this is not the first time. Obviously, they changed their name for the first time uh, for a reason. And don't just go with one company checking. Go with two or three. Go with two or three. And get a real price. Absolutely. Get two or three bids. Make sure you're getting the correct bid. Some companies say you might need some things, whereas you, uh, um, you might not need to do those. Uh, you know, get several different bids, which is important. 
Um, so, Miss Jackson, is there anything you'd like to say to ASAP? Like, you know, give me my money back and we won't take this any further. Uh, maybe come out and make things right. Um, All of the above. And I would sooner say go with the small companies that don't have a big overhead. I, I tend to agree with that, too. Um, you know, but there, it doesn't matter if you're a small or big company. What matters is that you have some sort of companies that will actually charge elderly and this is what this is about yeah, this is about charging elderly and taking advantage of elderly which we don't we don't want um so that's our biggest thing is 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 you, everybody should know the the right price uh and now know they're taking advantage of and that's what we don't want to see we don't want to see any any elderly or anybody price gouging or taking advantage of people whatsoever so miss jackson with this video we're um you're going to go ahead and uh, she's going to go ahead and post this on her facebook and uh, hopefully get some exposure and uh, we can uh, basically tell ASAP Heating and Cooling to uh, give this lady her money back. Um, yeah. So we want to let everybody know what type of company ASAP is uh, and, uh, and go from there. So if you have any questions, please respond to the video. If uh, you'd like to reach out to ASAP and tell them uh, they should make things right and definitely charge uh, Mrs. Jackson here double, uh, give them a call. Tell them what they uh, should do. Um, if you have any questions, you can respond to the post. Have a good day and uh, look forward to uh, any, uh, any comments. Thank you.